this video is going to focus on average rate law. We will start with the definitions and then we will do a few questions on average rate law. So you know we have learned from the previous video for a reaction AA plus BB giving you CC the average rate can be represented as shown and an example for nitrogen and hydrogen giving you ammonia is also shown there. So or in other words you must remember that in case of the average rate law the rate has to be divided by the stoichiometry of the equation. So now we will do the first question on average rate law. For the reaction given below at a particular time t the rate at which nitrogen decreases is 4.8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molar per second. Calculate the rate at which ammonia is formed. And the equation given is nitrogen plus 3 hydrogen giving you 2 ammonia. How do I know that I have to use the average rate law? Because in this case concentration nothing is given. They have just given the rate. And they have given the rate of for one of the reactants. And they are asking you the rate of the uh, product form. So the only way we can do that is using the average rate law. So the average rate law it will be for this reaction will be uh, the reactant is nitrogen and they have asked for ammonia. So it will be 1 over 1 change in concentration nitrogen divided by delta T that the rate is given is equal to rate at which ammonia is formed which is have half the change in concentration of ammonia divided by change in concentration of time. Substitute the values in. I will get 4.8 times 10 to the power of negative 2 equals half of change in concentration of ammonia divided by delta T and hence the rate at which ammonia formed is 9.6 10 to the power of negative 2 molar per second. And um, you can uh, see that even from the equation the rate at which ammonia formed is twice at which the uh, as compared to the rate at which nitrogen decreases. Question number 2 is also somewhat similar to the previous one. For the reaction given below, the rate at which manganese Mn2 plus formed is 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 uh, molar per second at a particular time. Calculate the rate of formation of ClO4 minus and the rate at which MnO4 minus decreases at the same time. So basically here the rate of formation of one of the product is given and they are asking you uh, for the rate of formation of another product and the rate of decrease of one of the reactant. Simple, just write the rate equation as shown and see that before you start the equation is balanced and uh, remember to divide the rate of each one of the reactant and the product with the stoichiometry. That's why there is a half in front of the MN2 plus and 1 by 5 in front of ClO4 minus and MnO4 minus there is a half and the concentration of uh, MnO4 minus per magnet decreases that's why there is a negative size in front of it and there is no negative sign for Mn2 plus and ClO4 minus because they are the product because the concentration increases and uh, the concentration of the the rate at which uh, Mn2 plus formed is given substitute it into that equation and I can get the rate at which uh, ClO4 minus is formed and that comes as 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Similarly, uh, compare the rate of manganese and uh, permanganate or uh, uh, the perchlorate and permanganate and calculate the concentration at uh, the rate at which uh, MnO4 decreases and the answer comes to 2.4 times 10 to the power of minus 3 M second inverse. This is question number 3 on average rate law. The average rate of appearance of oxygen is 4.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 atmosphere per second. Calculate the average rate in atmosphere per second for the disappearance of ozone. The only way this equation is, this question is different from the previous one is, the previous one we had all the concentration given. In this case, the rate has been given in terms of atmosphere per second. Uh, but because of this, uh, the way we calculate is not going to change. We write the same rate equation uh, with the half of change in concentration of ozone, 
uh, divided by the change in time equals one third change in concentration of oxygen divided by change in time and substitute the values in it and then you get the change in con the rate at which the ozone's concentration decrease as 2.8 10 to the power of negative 3 atmosphere per second.